Let's talk about gouache consistency because this is obviously the main issue with gouache is how to get the good consistency if it's even a thing. <laughs> so let's do this with a landscape and let me explain you how you can get different consistencies and what to do with them. First, I want to make some tries and then we will paint a landscape so I can show you in a real painting what it likes to play with the different consistencies. I'm using a piece of watercolor paper. It's quite heavy and you have all the references in the description of the video. So first thing, you will need a rag or something to remove the excess water. So I dip my brush in water, remove the excess water and just tap it. So it's moist, but it's not really wet. And this is a dry texture. So this is basically the paint straight from the tube and with very, very low water inside. And you will get something like this. If I dip again in the water, but I don't remove the excess, and you will get a paint that is more fluid or supposed to be more fluid. And you can cover evenly the paper. And then I will dip in water, maybe twice, maybe three times. And then I have something that is transparent. This is water, this is milk, and this is cream. So three ways to use the gouache painting, three different effects and three different purposes when you are painting. And let me show you now with a real painting. This is a landscape I want to paint or at least be inspired by this image because I won't copy it exactly. You have the reference image in the description. Um, I made a very rough drawing just to have some indication or where I have to place my elements. And uh, there is a lot of clouds. I'm not sure I will paint them. So here I am, still a watercolor paper. It's taped on a piece of wood. And if you want to know more about tapes, I let you a link for a video I made about how to select the good tape for a gouache painting. A very watery wash for the sky. So I'm dipping into water a lot. Think of watercolor at this stage. And I want to place the sky with a watery wash. And even more water because I need this to be really transparent. And now I'm increasing slightly the consistency. So taking my existing mix, adding a bit of white and going a bit darker. So this time I'm going for a milk consistency. So this is the one where you can't feel large shapes. And sometimes to get the good consistency, all you need is add a bit of white. It will act as a filler for your color, of course, if it's applicable to what you are painting. And I want to feel a large part of greenish so I'm more into the watery side of it because I want my colors here to bleed inside. So basically I'm dipping in water and 
pushing the pigments. So still very, very watery. And while it is drying, I will take a clean water, a clean brush, and I will use a kind of a flat rounded brush, which is this one. And I will use the milk consistency with the white, just to make some clouds. And dipping my finger in the water, just to soften the upper edge of the cloud. Once it's dry or almost dry, I will grab a fine brush, a round brush, and I will make some trees here and there. And now I'm using a cream consistency with a very dry brush. So I have a very few amount of water inside. And if you don't like it, just push it with your finger. All right, and let's suggest um, flowers and I will use the cream one just from the tube so it's kind of a thick color so now I'm going for something really watery and I want to use a bigger brush this is a very fine brush that is Quite difficult to handle actually because it requires a lot of water because the brushes they are not able to hold a lot of paint I feel it's a bit boring here so I'm adding a bit more texture Today is a day where I'm using my fingers. <laughs> Are you using your fingers for gouache painting? I hope you will tell me. It's always fun to see how people are working. I'm using just the tip of my brush, which is making some little marks. So let's remove the tape, always a good moment. The textures from a lot of layers to just one watery wash of blue in the sky, so the texture of the paper is really visible. And I like to have visible brush strokes in my art. So for this one, I want you to go a bit abstract even. So you can see here the textures of the very dry brush with what was either very watery at first, like here, or very creamy, like for the leaves here. This is a very creamy consistency with a dry brush. So I hope you learned one tip or two during this video and see you soon for another video.